Okay, so we're headed up uh, to Parenting, and we've got Chuko Prudence in the house. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Today, we're looking at um, uh, be the parent being the child's first, first teacher. teacher, right? Yes. Being your child's first teacher and preparing you for that particular role, knowing that uh, at, at some point, the first few years of your life, you're going to be the exclusive teacher. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Um, kids, of course, have a different way to be trained and all of that, and when they get born for that period, Parents are normally, normally, because I know some parents who, are, who almost they crash these days. You see some, I, I see some kids and I'm like, shouldn't they still be at home with their parents, right? But then we have, but parents also, they need that. That first responsibility is with the parents, right? Yeah. Okay, so how do they carry out that responsibility? Oh, well, um, research has shown that, well, all of us should begin to pay attention to the first five years of life. Hmm. Yeah, before now, it used to be elementary. Children just go to school at six. But the game is changing because if I were to tell you that uh, development, um, social stability, and national um, improvement or whatever it is depends on how we churn out parenting these days, I'm sure it's something to begin to think about. And you and I will now look back and say, oh, if I could influence my country by just raising my child well. Right, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? Mm. So every day, parents mirror what they want their children to be. Whether they know it or not, that's what they're doing. So they have to be very, very intentional. Exactly. About that's how where, they that's that. where we're going, really. Every parent today should be intentional because you actually, you should be who you want your child to be. And every step you take, matters. Your child um, makes or forms his abstractions from observing you. And may, many times it's not the scribbling on helping them to, um, to develop reading like we discussed last week. Literacy is important, but that's not where it begins. It's helping them to form the right abstractions that determines who they become in the future. So being your first um, child's teacher, the focus should actually be on um, how do I help my child to be the great genius that I want him to be tomorrow. And interactions is number one. Interactions, interactions with your child. Interactions, yes. Okay. Interaction, engaging your child, um, developing their emotional intelligence. Um, very little babies um, can perceive emotions. Yeah. Um, brain development. A lot of research is going on about child development, brain development, and all of those. So parents should focus on helping these children at very young age because when you don't do that, your child is abstracting the, the negatives. And the impact of that is more adults in jail, um, more social irresponsible individuals, yeah, you, 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 the, the, the impact is huge. You may not see it when the, the truth, they, they are small, but just like how you ex expose your child to stress can actually impact their emotional stability in the future. Hmm. So uh, you, you made mention of emotions. Are you saying that we should always have a happy disposition around them? We should always um, uh, make them available to things that make them emotionally balanced. How can we exactly do exactly. that? Exactly. Um, your children don't hear you as much as they see you. Okay. One, because the, the distance in height between you and them, it, it impacts that. And they observe and perceive. So being intentional about what you do. When you are around When you them. are around them, how you move, organization, your relationships between you and everyone around you, your Every spouse. Other person around you. Yes, what that's the what kids they see. see. Yes, that's what they see. Your relationship, you know, in the environment. So it's really more about what they perceive around them and not what you you know, the saying that says, uh, do what I say and not what I do. Mm. It's the other way around. The children actually do what they see. They do what they see, do what they observe around them. So mm. your relation, your interrelations with other people, um, the child themselves, yeah, you need to, you need to. Um, All right, now, when it gets to the point whereby they move into, say, age three, four, when they start interacting with other kids and all of that, we, we've also had issues of children picking up 
some kind of behaviors from kids outside. How, as a parent, while you are still in charge, when you see that your kid has picked up something outside, is there any way to maybe um, take out that particular trait or behavior your kid at that young age might have picked from someone outside, That's from the peer That's a beautiful or question because um, I practice Montessori. So in a Montessori environment, what happens is um, you don't correct, intentionally correct children and make them um, go back on their um, um, self-esteem. You mirror. So that kind of situation, we call it grace and curtsy. So if you are a gracious and cautious parent, your mm. child will pick it up. And when you observe negative uh, um, characteristics or something they may have picked up, <coughs> what you do is um, have a conversation or role playing. Role playing, like demonstrate what the right thing is for the child to see. We actually do it as teachers in mm. the, in the um, in Montessori environment. So parents can begin to introduce that even in their homes. Role play. Role play, yes. This, this child has picked something foul outside. Yes. Uh, am, I, am I going to role play that behavior out of you're the not child? Blowing, you're not role playing the negative behavior. You're role playing the opposite. The opposite of what you want. Exactly. So Montessori, they don't use use Koboko. Ah, no Koboko. So what is what? Our Koboko do. Our koboko is you as the adult. Mm. Because when your children observe you, and because Montessori um, teachers, with COVID, parents, all parents should become Montessori teachers. Mm. Because you'll be helping that child to be a great person in the future. So there is no, there is no place in Montessori for physical... Uh, that's abuse. That's abuse. Yeah, that, that's abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody even had to shout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's abuse. That's abuse. Every child mirrors what they see. They copy. And if... Okay, when you shout, just like you, you re, your child doesn't really hear you instruct, mm -hmm. but they hear you when you are yelling at your maid. Mm -hmm. And when they come out, they will yell too. Hmm. So, so I think it's more of, you know, working with them intentionally, mirroring what you actually want them to be. Hmm. Yeah, because if research is going, great research is burning so much dollars, money, into what, as Africans, we need to come home and begin to focus on that. Okay, wonderful. You know, looking at... Thank you so much, uh, <laughs> Chico. You, um, this, uh, this, this came home. So anything Montessori doesn't involve Koboko. Ah, that no, means, it doesn't involve Koboko. That means we were not brought up in Montessori. We were, Interaction. <laughs> we do, like I say, Africans do it okay. by default, but we, okay. don't, we don't really know that. Okay. I know so far I watch and I like, <laughs> forget that thing what Chico is saying. Well, whichever way, we'll find out what works for Social you. Social skills. But, okay, yeah. Social thank skills. You. All right, thank um, you. Emotional intelligence. I mentioned that already. Yeah, you did, so. you did, you did. This uh, um, discussion will be definitely available on YouTube and online so they can get back to what you said. Thank you very much. And uh, here's wishing you the best. Thank Have a wonderful you. 2021. All right, that's it. That's an apparent. I hope you're able to pick up something there. All right? So for those of us that are not uh, brought up in a Montessori way, well, hey, come on. You can learn a better way to bring up your kids. All right, that's all we can take now. We'll take this time out. There's still quite a bit more to come on the show. Stay with us.